This one not as much power, but look how much it's melting to the skin. Wow! Okay, power test, so let's see what happens. As you can see, this one burned too pretty quickly. You see, just not whole. And it's a really, really big uh, surface where it burned too. Next one, let's go with this one. Adjust it on maximum. This is pretty strong too, but as you can see, not either way. Okay, let's start this one. On maximum, lock it. So a lot less power. You see it? Yeah, it cannot even make a big little hole. And look at the difference. First one, second one, and the third one. This one probably gonna end up being the same. So turn it on on max. No, this one is way more powerful. They look similar, but this one, as you can see, way more power. Okay, and this one. Okay, maximum. And we're gonna do the concentrated layer one. Check this out. Yeah, this is definitely the most powerful compared to the first one even. One more test. This one not as much power, but look how much it's melting to the skin. Wow. So this is the most powerful kitchen torch light touch. That's for sure. And I really love that attachment as well. Look at that, that can is completely in half. This is what this one will look like. Very, very powerful as you can see. Check this out, I'm in the kitchen. So, if you need to, for any reason, uh, tool like that, for specially cooking like desserts, there you go. Turn it off, spin it this way. More power, less power. That thing is amazing. And to take it off, you're done. If that's a bit too powerful for you, maybe you can get a step down like that one. Right now it's not maximum. Lock it. So this is a dual one right now. That's kind of beautiful. Then we can twist it and then now single one in case you don't need that much power. And more power. Looks like more or less power doesn't really change a lot. You see? Just a little bit. Okay, maybe on, on a dual it's a lot better. Oh yeah, on a dual power, it's quite a big difference. But yeah, that's pretty cool one. If you need less power, there you go. And it's really comfortable to hold in. Beautiful. And lock it up, turn it on and off. Less power. Pretty cool uh, kitchen torch over here. And then you got much smaller single ones. Look at that. You can really adjust them. This thing is really powerful. But also you can adjust it to a very, very tiny. So it depends what you need it for. Look how far that shoots off. So yeah, really nice. And then you can turn it and lock it in. Make creme brulee or whatever they're called. Unlock it. Take it down. You see? This is a really good option as well. I really like that kitchen torch. And this is more like a tiny kitchen torch. So it still has quite a big uh, power. You lock it in. So there's a turn for single one. Boom. You got a single one. Then there's minus and plus. Looks like if whenever you go too far deep, it sh shuts off all the way. Minus, plus, and then dual. Oh, dual is like that. That's pretty awesome. And then you can unlock it. Pretty reliable, doesn't turn off right away, but it is on max. Dual, uh, like a kitchen torch in a really, really like compact 
design compared to the other ones. So yeah, that's a cool option as well. I like that one a lot.